As you know, I'm kind to the Tech Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you something about Angular Route. So Angular Route is something like this. If you look at this application here, you can see that when I move from one page to another, like moving from the home page and to another page, the, the main structure of the application remains the same and only the component continues to change. This is very good in performance. You don't have to reload the page every time somebody navigates to another page. So there is a site, um, a complete uh, site master, a global part of the template that remains the same so that when anything changes, the only thing that is going to change is the actual component that changes in your page. And this is handled using Angular routing. I'm going to be teaching you about this right from the scratch. You don't need anything to start. I'm going to start a new application and show you exactly how to create Angular routes. Uh, this table here, I'm going to cover it later on. However, the complete tutorial for building this application you see on the screen is also the complete series you can find there in the description box of this video. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, hit on the subscribe button and also activate notification. Feel free to leave me a comment if you have any challenge and also uh, like this video and share it around. So let me talk, I'll teach you about how Angular routing. This is a complete practical class. I'm not going to be talking so much. So now let me kind of put this away and start a new application. I use IntelliJ. So let me um, open IntelliJ. This is already running IntelliJ. So I'm going to simply go to file and say uh actually if you want to build an angular app you don't need uh you don't need to use uh, intellij you can use anything so let me use the command line from here so i can simply go to uh inside a folder in my system i call this folder tutorial so i'm going to create a new application i'm going to call it ng new and give it a name the name of this application is uh angular route uh, demo let me call it angular route demo so you can do it do along with me because i'm starting from the scratch at this point so i'm creating this new app so what i'm going to do now since i have the step-by-step -step page here i'm going to leave this step-by-step -step page open and then so it asks you or oh, do you want to add routing yes i want to add routing and css i also want to apologize to you. I'm actually not dressed up for this lesson because the weather is really hot. It's a, it's a hot summer season at this point. So please forgive me for not dressing quite well. But I hope the important thing is for us to understand the concept I'm trying to explain in this lesson. And uh, make sure you get the knowledge uh, instead of uh, focusing on what I put on here. All right, so let me arrange the windows so that I can be looking at the steps and also following along as well. So Mark gives me a way to uh, easily arrange the window like this. Uh, I think I should put this okay here. All right, so the windows are now side by side. So we've created a new app. Uh, now, when you create a new app, you can actually say ng serve. When you say ng serve, it's going to start up this application you create. Uh, requires okay. So first, you need to navigate navigate inside this folder. So I'm going to say cd uh, angular route demo uh actually angular route demo and then ng serve so at this point we have this application bare bones application there is nothing there except some markup that angular have added to added to this application i'm going to remove them and let me show you how to build the uh, add angular route i'm also going to show you how to add some neat ui stuff that you may appreciate having so there are four things you need to install bootstrap font awesome angular material bootstrap ng bootstrap so that we can have something that actually looks presentable all right so if i go to 4200 at this point you can see the application right here which is okay now the first thing you need to understand about angular route first i'm going to open this application uh using intellij so i'm going to go to file open so i'm going to now select the folder where i have this application which is actually in my document and i call it uh tutorial it should be tutorials and we call it angular route demo you can see it right here i'm going to just click on open and it opens up and it's trying to take up the whole screen so but that is not going to be um so i'm going to kind of neatly arrange it uh, give me one second so I can move this way and just take this one out from here. 
All right, so I can now arrange by moving this this way and then putting this right here. All right, so I've opened this in IntelliJ and it's running here in port 4200. But now I'm going to go to this point. Uh, I can open the terminal here so I can be controlling it from here. Uh, so give me one second. Let me stop this one because there is one that is already running. So I'm going to kind of close this. Okay. All right, so this is where we are. Uh, all right, so the first thing I want to show you now is to show you the base, the base uh, package or the base component that is the base component that represents the base home template that will not be changing, okay? All right, so if you open the SRC folder, you can see the app. And if you go into the app, you can see app component.html. So all this shit in this page, uh, this is where it is in the app component. Give me one second. I need to stop this application from running. I'm going to stop it from here. Okay. And that is fine. Okay. So I'm going back where we are. So this app component, this all this uh, HTML crap you see here, that is what displays on this page. And that we don't need because this is Angular homepage of... So what you can do at this point, and all this explanation is also on my website. So you can simply come here and then select everything, select everything and delete all of them. Okay, when you delete all of them, only leave router, uh, uh, the router tag, that's the only thing you are going to, uh, you are going to leave, okay? So now, let's quickly install these few things here so that we can have some ui stuff so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste it here take the second one because all this is what you need to have something that looks a bit presentable when you're working with ui okay um this is fine so i'm going to paste the second one here come on, so Font awesome and I also need Angular material as well. So I'm going to copy and paste as well and run it. Okay. Um, okay. So the next one is Angular material. Okay. And the last one is ng bootstrap. Uh, these are not compulsory for now, but later on, maybe when we are going to be talking about modal pop up to display modal, maybe details modal, edit form, uh, we are going to be using them. So let me paste the last one as well. Okay, so for us to be able to use this uh, CSS uh, styles we added, we added library. So I'm going to copy this import statement and put it in the styles sheet provided for this application. So in this application, there is a style sheet. I'm going to show you. So this style sheet is somewhere here. You can see here style sheet and simply paste this in here. Okay. So at this point, if I go back to the Angular demo, if I refresh this page, uh, it goes away. But if I run it again, ng serve, you can see that it will open up, but now it's going to be a blank page. If I go back to the app component, let's give me one second. If I go back to the app component, and this is what we have in the app component. Now, whatever is going to be changing in your page, is going to be here okay and you are not going to tamper with this page unless you want to add something that does not change like the header and the footer so now the page goes blank so if i say now this is the home page and save everything you can see that it shows this is a home page okay so <clears throat> Now I would like to add some UI uh, items. So if I go back to my uh, to this place, so let's like create two components. One is the home and one is the, the other one. So basically think of components as pages. For these pages, you are not actually going to be reloading the page every time. They are going to simply be changing uh, from time to time. So if I open another terminal, I can easily uh, uh, say ng generate and you generate component home. So I'm going to create one page. Just think of component as a page. 
and I'm going to create another component I'm going to call uh, friend let's just call it friend so we have two component friend component and home component okay that's fine so once the user visits now let me talk about routing now when the user visits slash home it goes to the home component if it goes to slash friends it goes to the friend component but if it goes to slash or without visiting anywhere it also goes to the home component how do you uh, set up this to be able to set up this i've explained it here you simply go to the app routing module.ts okay the app routing module is a file where you specify the routing for your application so here we have routes so i'm going to increase the fonts so here we have routes and this is where you specify the route you want so basically this is very easy so when the user visits slash home you have to load the home component so you have to specify this way path path to home if the user visits home here you need to specify the component to be the home component and the second one if the user visits uh, slash friend is going to load the friend component so I'm going to say path so in this case I want to load the friend component as you can see right here okay now we have okay this this uh, shape from angular and finally when the user does not enter any any url pattern anything it doesn't enter anything we want it to also go to the home so i'm going to add one more so in this case the part is going to be nothing like this okay and the component that we want to load is the home component i hope this is clear now if I save everything, but before I save, I'm going to go to the app, to the home components. I'm going to say this is the home page. Oh, let me just say this is the header. Okay. So I'm working on the app component. The app component contains what you want to remain static, what does not change. Okay. So I'm going to maybe put this on the H1 and cover it with slash H1 tag as well. So this is a header uh, and does not change. Okay, right. And the next one, I'm going to go to the home component. You can see the two components here. I'm going to go to the home component and say, uh, let me say, this is the home component. Okay, so maybe let me just add something here. Maybe I just add, HR okay so this is a home component this home component dot HTML and if I go to the other component friend component I can just go to the HTML and say uh, this is the friend component okay so this is fine how do we check if this is working okay how do we check we simply save everything and it's going to do auto reload as you can see at this point now I've not visited anywhere so it's just at the, at the, at the base URL 4200 and it's showing the home component as you can see there is a home component now if I now explicitly go to the home component it also shows the home component as you can see now if I go to the friend component is it friends or friends i can't remember now it shows uh the friends component as you can see there's a friend component right so how to specify let me just remind you you go to the app routing module and add all the parts if you wanted to go to friends so the parts you specify does not have to do with the component you can write any parts for that whatever part you specify you need to specify the component that is going to be loaded when the user visits this part. Now I'm changing it from friend to friend and I'm going to save everything. And at this point, if I go to slash friend, uh, it goes back to the home component because uh, friend does not lead to anywhere. So I'm going to say friends. So now it goes to the friend component because that is what I specify here. 
So this is basically how Angular routing works, okay? The next part of this video, I'm going to now try to explain to you how to add a few design templates from Angular Material, uh, maybe NG Bootstrap, and actually Bootstrap itself. I'm going to stop here. I hope you understand that Angular routing is really very easy uh, to understand. If this has been informative for you, please subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment as well. Also, feel free to like and share this video around on your social network profile. You never can tell it can help someone. And I was saying, as, as I normally say, if you have challenges, let me know and I'm going to help you uh, solve this problem. I remain Titan Detect Pro.